Hello friends, how are you all doing? Hope you all are fine and in good health and state of mind. Welcome to another tutorial by Query How To. I welcome you all from the bottom of my heart. This is your host Shakir Rahman Khan. Today I will be showing you how you can install PUBG Mobile 16.0 on latest game loop completely offline. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I will provide the links to all these files in the video description. So you can just download those files and follow the video to completely install offline. So let's get started. So first run the installer for game loop as an administrator. Let me tell you that game loop has a tendency to be installed on the drive which has the most space so you can see i have the most space on my d drive it is a 931 gb in total and this one c drive is 222 gb so pubg or the game loop will be installed on this drive because it has the maximum space so that's why it's by default d drive so I will just click on install and wait for it to complete. Meanwhile, let us just extract these two files, uh, these two zip files. Okay. So yeah. and this one as well. So the first one is the APK file, the PUBG Mobile 16.0 version, okay. So we will have to move it to the temp folder and inside, I'll show you, just, uh, just wait a minute, okay. So I'll just copy it and wait, first let's complete this installation. So as you can see the installation of game loop has finished so i will just check this add icon and click on start now while the turbo engine that is the engine is uh, downloading right so let it complete this is very important so meanwhile i will just copy the apk this one to a certain folder so just copy and follow me so i know that my pubg installation is being installed in d drive right so i will just go to d drive and here you can see the program file is created this is of tencent right okay and this temp folder also belongs to pubg as well so go to temp folder tx game download and mobile game pc shared now paste the APK here. Okay. So we will also copy the offline files here ahead. Okay. So just copy this folder and put it here. Now we can just close this folder and wait for the engine to be downloaded and installed. As you can see, the engine download is almost finished. So let's wait a little more. So after installing the engine, PUBG is being downloaded, right? So we don't need to do it. We can just simply cancel it. Now, we will close this and from this icon we can just right click on it and go to open file location from this we will click on tx game assistant and go to ui and create a shortcut of the android emulator to our desktop so right click on it and send to desktop 
close this one. Double click on Android emulator. Click on yes. So the emulator is now open and we don't have anything installed in it, right? So we will just press F9 from our keyboard and these options will pop up. So click on browser and search for ES File Explorer. Click on the top one. Click on download. You can see it is being downloaded. Click on it. Click on next, next, next and install. Click on done. Close this. Go to ES File Explorer, click on Agree, click on Start Now, click on this arrowheads, click on Internal Storage, click on this slash, go to Data, scroll up and go to Share One. From here, Remember, this is the file that we put in there. Okay, uh, this file. So, yeah, this is the file, correct file that we have put inside our D drive, temp folder, TX game download, and mobile P game PC shape. So, fine. So, we simply install this. Click on it and click on install. Click on next, click on install. So we just installed PUBG Mobile. Click on done. Go back. Click on PUBG Mobile. Cancel it, I will just show you. Cancel. Click on OK. Cancel it. I will just show you one thing. Go to, go to Go and click here and go to settings, go to engine, click on DirectX plus, from resolution choose 1280 into 720p and DPI 240, click on save, click on ok. So actually this is the best way to run the emulator. So now click PUBG Mobile, click on ok. So it will restart as we have just changed some engine settings. This might come, just don't get bothered. Double click on the emulator, click on yes. The emulation, emulator should run well. So click on PUBG Mobile. Don't show this again. Click on game, start game. Close this. So, as you can see, this 1025 MB download has just started. So, I won't download it. So, I'll just close it. Exit the game. I'm going to go to ES File Explorer. Click on internal storage, click on this slash, click on data, click on share one and then remember this folder, click on it click and click on it and get inside and you can see the data and OBB folder in here. Just click and hold to select it 
and then click here to select it. So select these two folders and then click on copy and then click on this home icon, click on internal storage, click on Android and just replace these two folders with the folders we have selected and copied. So just paste it and click apply to all and overwrite, click on it. So now the files will be replaced. So you can see uh, the copy was finished successfully. So now you can simply just close it. From here also and then run it. Click on PUBG Mobile to start. As you can see, we didn't need to download the 1025 MB download. So you can just simply log in and start playing. And I have another video on how to install PUBG 1.15. Uh, the other video I will provide a link. From there, you can grab the maps and put it where it belongs so you won't need to download the maps as well so thank you all for watching this video do like subscribe and share and just be with me how to thanks a lot good luck